I'm Scott Allen Miller, this is Sam IT, and today we're going to talk about what's going on with the Huawei Google affair that started today. This is new in the news, and so I'm doing an unedited straight cut uh, for Sam IT today because, one, I'm backlogged on getting things done uh, for the official, like, formal stuff for the channel, and this is a news item, so I wanted to get this out because it is uh, very prescient. So, first, some background. The United States and China have been embroiled in a trade war. That's a political issue. It is going on in the background. However, this has played out in that Huawei, often seen as the most prominent Chinese manufacturer, especially in the high-tech space, is being uh, used as a pawn in a proxy trade war between the U.S. and China. So Huawei is in the news a lot, trying to figure out what to do about bigger things than they really control. So we can have a whole different discussion some other time about the U.S.-China trade war, uh, a whole different discussion about uh, whether Huawei is um, legitimately a concern or not. Um, quick answer, I, there's zero reason to believe that it is, absolutely none uh, at this time. I mean, that's not to mean that it couldn't be, simply there's no reason to think so. Um, but so those things are going on in the background, and there's every reason to believe that Google is also a pawn in a proxy war. In the United States, it is very common for federal agencies to uh, force companies or individuals to take an action uh, where they're not allowed to disclose to the outside that the federal government has forced them to take that action. Uh, there are gag orders. And uh, sometimes they're not even allowed to seek legal counsel to see if the gag order is legal. Uh, and so uh, there's every possibility that this has happened to Google, and Google has no possibility or no, no legal ability to warn anyone that this is going on. So we don't know if Google is taking it. We never know, right? We don't know if Google is taking actions on their own or if they're being forced to do so by a third party. However, given how reckless and crazy the actions are, we're going to guess there's a third party forcing them to do so. So what is the action? A few hours ago, Google has told Huawei, who is currently one of the three largest cell phone makers in the world and the second largest maker of Android phones, Google obviously being the maker of Android, that they would no longer be supplying them with certain proprietary technology which is needed for things like the Google Play Store, um, Google Assistant, a lot of different Google apps, Gmail, uh, and updates to certain parts of the Android platform. Now, Android is open source, so if you are familiar with open source or you attended MangoCon 3 last week, uh, we talked about open source and how it protects the end user, which in this case could be the people who own the phones or Huawei themselves as end users of the code from Google. Uh, from actions like this. Anything that is open source, Huawei is free to keep using forever. There's nothing that anyone can do about that. So their end users are protected because they used an open source product. So yay, open source. This is a great example of what we just talked about. Open source provides a tremendous about amount of protection in the real world. However, there are a lot of parts of a normal phone that are not open source, even an Android one. And this is something to be aware of if you have an Android phone of any type. You may think the whole thing is open source. A lot of it is not. A lot, a lot of it is not. Uh, and a lot of the pieces that you probably rely on quite often. So Huawei is immediately in a very precarious position as they have a lot of pieces of their ecosystem that need to be able to keep working, that they don't have access to the components that they need. So what's going to happen now, we're going to be finding out over the next couple days. There's every possibility that the U.S. and China are going to work things out. There's every possibility that Google and Huawei are going to work things out. We don't know. All we know is right now, a pretty serious shot has been fired over Huawei's bow and Google is taking a pretty reckless stance, whether intentional or not. What happens now will be very interesting. First of all, Huawei is enormous. This is a company similar to Google in size. It is so large they had uh, intended to become the world's largest provider of cell phones by 2020. That's only seven months away. So. Huawei is not small by any stretch. They dominate most of the non-US markets. So Huawei has a lot of money behind them and a lot of engineering behind them. And many people believe Huawei may be the best maker of cell phones, meaning they make the highest quality phones. So in a lot of the markets, they're the high-end leader to catch up with. Huawei certainly has the wherewithal to either pick up Android as it is in an open source mode and run with it, keeping it up to date, or to replace Android altogether. Huawei has stated already that they 
have access to uh, Android as open source and no one can take that away from them. And they have also stated that they have built an alternative operating system and are prepared to use it. This is very likely true. It would be logical for a Huawei type company to have that, those kinds of resources ready because these are companies that are so big and have so much on the line that they will do things like build a secret operating system just to protect themselves against market shifts. So this is not surprising at all and is very likely true. So Huawei certainly stands to lose a lot. Without access to the Google ecosystem, that cuts them off from many of the things that people expect. People think of Android phones as being an extension of the Google Play Store. Without access to that, the Huawei devices will not have access to the apps that they need. They will not have the ecosystems that people expect. A lot of things that people just assume their phone is going to do, they won't be able to do with Huawei. Now, Huawei has already replaced most of those components in other markets. It's specifically the US and Europe that are most affected by this. Maybe Huawei has contingency plans for all those components as well. That is part of what we will see over the coming days. How Huawei decides to respond, whether they try to uh, be complicit and uh, work with Google to get uh, access to, to their code again, that may happen and this all may blow over. But Huawei may also take the stance of extending the Android operating system, which may put Google in a position of trying to play catch up or the two of them competing to see who can make the better Android. And Huawei could use this as an opportunity for competitive advantage uh, to get ahead of, of the Samsungs and the Lenovos and others in the market who are relying on Google's central ecosystem. Huawei could do a lot of customization uh, to try to, to get a, an advantage there. Huawei may also move to a non-Android platform completely, which may or may not be beneficial. We don't know what that other platform would be. It may be Linux-based, it may be something completely different. They could do just about anything. There's a lot of opportunity there. So we just have no idea what Huawei is going to do. It is important to understand that in pulling these products from Huawei, Google is also sending a very clear threat to all of their other partners. Samsung, Lenovo, uh, Nokia, Everybody else is getting the message that Google can pull your stuff and hold you hostage anytime they want. Of course, they knew this previously, right? This isn't completely a surprise, but that Google would be willing to do it and be so incredibly reckless as to both cut off what is potentially their largest customer and to do so with no warning or no warning that we know of um, is, is a step that no one probably thought Google would realistically take. So now those other vendors, especially the ones in China, like ZTE and uh, Lenovo, who makes Motorola, need to be really worried right now that Google may be in a position to threaten them and may be willing to do so. They may very quickly be turning to Huawei to help build an alternative ecosystem that cuts Google out completely. Part of the reason that there's even more concern about this is that Google is currently making a large push to get their own hardware into the market. Now, Google has been making their own hardware for some time, but it is only recently that it's become as prominent as it has, and their new Pixel phones are uh, becoming relatively popular. So some are likely to see this as potentially a play for Google to try to cripple what is probably their largest competitor before they are able to gain access to too many markets and become number one. But that's definitely going to scare Samsung and Lenovo and others because they have to be worried that they're next on the radar. So I guarantee that right now, while we're sitting around speculating about what everyone's doing, they are sitting around in their war rooms, figuring out what their response is going to be. And all of them, especially the Lenovos and the Samsungs who have deep pockets similar to Huawei, are very likely running out and deciding what conversations to have with Huawei, what contracts to get in place to stop Google from being able to do this to them, and what they're going to build potentially in-house to protect themselves as well. And I'm certain that Samsung, at very least, has gone down this path on their own in the same way that Huawei has, uh, but Huawei has certainly had more warning, and so it's probably much further down the path, very likely all the way down the path. Of, of any mitigation that they're going to do. So there is a lot of potential interesting points here and anybody might be the big winner or the big loser. Google may win big here by getting their devices into the market, but that seems unlikely. Google, it seems, is almost certainly going to be the big loser here because currently Google has a near monopoly on the operating system market and a strong hardware position. Where they have a strong hardware position is in the markets where Huawei has no hardware position, or essentially none, such as the United States. So for Google, this seems crazy, which is why we're very likely to assume it is not Google's decision to take this action. 
Samsung is very potentially the big winner because they were likely to lose their spot next year as the largest vendor of phones. And by moving into the first spot, Huawei was much more likely to be able to break into the U.S. market once the U.S. China trade deal goes through or whatever, once it, the trade stabilizes. Uh, so Samsung is poised to possibly be the biggest beneficiary here as they were the one very likely facing the biggest challenges in the next year or two, especially as the new Huawei phones just came out and have been getting reviews stating that they are often better than the Samsung phones at a lower price. So Samsung certainly had a lot of reason to not be happy with where Huawei was right at the moment. We will just have to see how things play out. The big winner here could be Apple because they're simply staying out of the fray for the moment. They're the only large vendor who's simply standing by the side and going, well, that's what you get for working with Google, and everyone else is stuck wondering what to do. So keep an eye on it. We're going to be watching it over the next several days. I expect in a week or two, we're going to have a pretty good idea of where things are going. Huawei is definitely in a position of having to make announcements very quickly, and Google is certainly going to be in a position of needing to justify its actions to its other partners before they start asking way too many questions about what position they're in and why Google may be suddenly cutting off them to updates and products as well. Thanks for joining me. I'm Scott Allen Miller. Uh, if you like this, please thumbs up and subscribe. You can sponsor us on Patreon. Um, and I am working to try to get the channel back up to speed. But thank you for everybody who's been subscribing. We have so many new people. Um, even without a lot of new content be, uh, coming out recently, uh, the growth of the channel has been really, really solid. Um, and I do try to answer everyone's uh, comments and questions. And certainly with one like this, I want to see some discussion down down there, right? Uh, what do you think? Do you think Huawei is going to benefit here? Do you think, uh, you know, do you think they're going to make their own uh, products? Do you think that... that Google's going to back down because they're, this is just too dangerous of a position for them. Um, did the U.S. force them to do this? I want to see some discussion. What haven't we thought about, right? Uh, what products are going to go away? How are people going to be affected? Is this an opportunity for everyone to build a non-Google-based store that has lower rates and gets better penetration? Google may lose its hegemony here. So this is really interesting. Let's watch what happens and let's talk about it. Thanks for joining me.